aging face that this world has forgotten. What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle. We just rolled course this calendar. And I've been sometimes like the post scenarios of battle. I'm actually looking forward to this. I uh, haven't had a lot of time, I've actually been on vacation for a week here and the um, live narration that was actually transpired before this was mainly to, well, have some free guys while I'm gone. Now, we're going up against this Raymond here, which is of course named Flaming Axel on YouTube. So there's a link, kind of, of course, this channel is going to be linked down below. And we have a Wi-Fi battle in RU, which I was a bit too heavy on the meta and kind of pushed him back really hard. So we decided to have another battle and actually tuned down a little bit of you know, the meta I'm bringing. So, um, yeah, you guys see into my team, so it's it's up there. Um, it's still, it's still a dangerous team no matter what. Uh, I'm bringing Ghostium, Miss Majors, Espeon, um, but still Entei, Tarantrum, and uh, more defensive variants of Vika Vault. Now, we're going up against Steelix, Comfey, which is just disgusting, uh, Gustlord, um, it's not Beartick. Hell, I can't remember the name for, for some reason. Beware, damn it. Anyway, um, Pelosan and the uh, Wishy Washy. So his leader really felt to be either Comfy Pelosan or Steelix. I felt Miss Majors could do overall the most amount of damage to anything he decides to go with. I was really hoping for Pelosan so I can actually go directly for uh, Ghost to see with me with my go with my Miss Majors. But yeah, that was pretty much my thought process. Miss Mage is super scary for him due to the combination of attacks that he gave with Mystical Fire and Dazzling Leaves. So anyway, with all this said, let's go! So I kind of predict right here. He still started with Steelix. So I'm feeling right, he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks, you know, that's all fine and dandy. I can just go for the, of course, Mystical Fire directly. And yeah, I'm gonna do a good chunk of damage on this Pokemon. He's not gonna take that well. But he is actually going to showcase for me that he is an offensive variant with Shear Force and the life orb and that's actually killing Miss Major. So here was we go. Alright. That's that was not good. Miss Major was clearly the winner in winner in this battle. So I'm gonna send in of course my mud steel. I'm just gonna go for actually a fair earthquake here. I can't predict him switching out here. I really just need to go for the heavy damage. As of course nah, which of course the comfy is and it's not gonna do a lot of damage here. It's definitely not gonna die. But I do pack the heavy slam and clearly another earthquake will kill him. And I was feeling, you know, I can just attack here, there is really nothing to it. As he goes for Elite Seed, which is fair enough. Uh, Rygar definitely would appreciate that, as Heavy Slam will of course kill the Comfy. I just want to showcase him that I am flexible enough to utilize other moves and just one more, not a banded version. Uh, so he goes to Hugs, and I was like, you know, I I don't know, Superpower seems super obvious, I'm just going to send a dick of all those guys in, uh, mainly because I can soak a Superpower without any issue. But he's actually gonna go for, of course, the all-out pummel move. And uh, here's we go, you know, a more defensive Vika Volt. I don't know how much possible damage this could do. At least it's resisted, it won't kill me. You know, all those thoughts went through my head. As um, it's a pretty clean 50% hit on me. And I was gonna write, you know, he hasn't lo lost anything. Return clearly will kill me from his range. Uh, so I need to switch out, and I definitely feel that he's gonna go for a return. So I'm gonna send in Rygard here, and I know Rygard can't win this matchup, so Double Edge which will do a plethora amount of damage on me. Um, I still know, you know, I have an, one honest chance of hurting him, so I'm gonna go for close combat here, mainly because I thought that that was my best series of action. It is not. Uh, due to Fluffy, I actually would have been better off going for, of course, an Earthquake. I didn't think about that at the time, as close combat looks awesome. And uh, sadly though, it isn't enough, and uh, it's really frustrating, as uh, I do believe he wraps up with a superpower, which was great for my side, because that meant one thing, and I can send him pick up all to go for Roost, actually utilize that his ability is now lowered in attack. So that was probably a weird play from his side, but then again, I just wanted to showcase moves, it, it's my honest ability, or you know, if I was able to switch out to something, I'll try to save Rygard. So anyway, he switched out, got to Sand Tomb. Which of course is the black Pelosan, that thing looks awesome. Pelosan is no threat for Vika Volto since the stabs is not super effective on me. Hell, the one if you know I'm immune to do of course the levitating. So with that in mind, he's gonna actually switch out and go into Mantra, which is a bus wall. And this guys, this is the thumbnail, this is the matchup we are gonna see throughout the match. 
These two are the champions of the RU at the moment, as a bug bus will not be a 2 hit kill, mainly because since the Assault Vested version, a Fire Blast will do a lot of damage on my Vicar Balls. Funnily enough, I should say, it is not a clean KO, and I can literally roost all that and wait for him to, of course, miss the Fire Blast. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I really, really hope that he doesn't try to pull any stunts on me, as Roost pretty much brings me back where I belong. And he's going to go for Dark Pulse here, hoping that I, of course, do that thing. I don't recover enough HP here to kind of survive another possible Fire Blast, and I kind of feel that this could be a matchup that could be really, really slow. And I have switching, so I can definitely showcase my switching as Fire Blast is his go-to move, and Houser is going to eat that up. But I'm gonna do something stupid here. You know, I tend to do a lot of stupid things when I play Wi-Fi Battle, but definitely, this is definitely up there. I really thought I had KO the Steel Axe. It's clearly still active as I actually locked myself into Outrage, and Outrage is not a two-hit KO on that switch in. So I lose my Tyranitar here, and you know, I'm kind of thinking to myself, you know, what um what the hell? Why why didn't I take a picture of the team or whatever? I, I usually do that. I was feeling, you know, I can just spam out right there. Comfy is dead, right? Oh, yeah, that's um, that, that was um, really unfortunate. Uh, so I can just send in Espeon here, which is tremendously powerful in RU at the moment, and just go for a psychic. Even if he's resisted, he has no switch into that outside of Gust Lord. I do have Dazzling Gleam for the Gust Lord, so he's not gonna do necessarily that much to me, as he's gonna send in Sand Tomb. And yeah, I have switched over this Pokemon as of yet, uh, feeling that Shadow Ball is his go-to move. I'm just gonna send in Entei, which also may or may not be actually too powerful for the tier. I'm, I'm not gonna never discourage that. But the thing is here, I can't do too much with my Entei this matchup that I actually left because they're actually dealing with him rather well. So he's gonna send in Wishy Washy. No, hugs. He's gonna send in hugs and kill that off. Uh, clearly, it's not gonna take uh, Sacred Fire. <laughs> and I get a crit to really, really rub it in. So anyway, now he's gonna send Wishy Washy. I am just gonna bang for a burn. There is really nothing I can do to Wishy Washy. I need a free switch in because Wishy Washy's damage output are just that high. And with Wicked Vault at 50% and Espeon, clearly needs enough HP to actually be sustaining itself. It says, of course, life for being so much fragile. I am actually gonna sag off Entei here. So we're gonna see Wishy Washy defeating an Entei, and that looks really fair. Uh, so luckily for me, I can at least from this point on actually go for um, Geisen or of course my Vicar Ball. I just go for free Thunderbolts, even if he's so desired to go to his Sand Tomb. I don't think his Sand Tomb could deal with my Vicar Ball that well. So uh, yeah, and had I go for an Energy Ball, I actually was in an area where I could possibly not KO him. So anyway, recover some HP and I felt that, you know what, I'm gonna freaking gamble on this freaking Gust Lord. I'm gonna try to take that Fire Blast, because I felt gutsy. So we're gonna go for a bug bus and you know really really push it down. It is sadly not KOing, but he does connect with the fire blast, and sadly that is the KO. But at the same time, you know, I'm proud of my Vicar Vault. My god, the defensive set just showcase how good it really is. As of course, he's my only opponent I have left is Espeon. And the only way for me of winning is going for a Calm Mind, really, really hoping that a Draco or a Dark Pulse is not enough to KO me, but it shouldn't be. Kalmai is definitely pushing me up there with a high special defense as it goes for Draco, which is the stronger move in this situation. And, um, yeah, we live that. Which is awesome, but at the same time, fellas, you know, it's pushing me so down below that I'm not sure I can kill the Palosad because I don't have Shadow Ball. Psychic is my strongest move. And the way he was utilized in Palosad, I felt that it could be a defensive set. And if so, I'm not going to be able to KO it. So he's going to send in Sand Tomb. I basically sent GG to Raymond because I kind of kind of knew that Ray got this. There's no way I'm going to win this. As Psychic actually is a KO. So we freaking won this one. I mean, I'm super proud. That was definitely not expected. Okay, even with my team being severely stronger, I really thought it was a power level between here. Uh, I still managed to pull it off, which was great. I needed that. And, you know, it's a double down, so in theory it is a tie because I actually win 0-0, so I'm, I'm just saying. But yeah, <laughs> GG Ray, that was freaking awesome. Good job, buddy.